I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to calculate slope of a secant from given two points or given points on a function. Question is, find the slope of the secant PQ in simplified form. P is 1 minus 1, Q is 1 plus h, comma, f of 1 plus h, where function f of x is defined as 2x square minus 3. Part B is P is 16, 4 and Q is 16 plus H and square root of 16 plus H is the Y value. You can pause the video, find the secant of these uh, curves. So you can pause the video and find the secants for these questions. Now as you know, secant is the slope of the tangent between two points, P and Q. It could be change in Y over change of X, that is Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. So that is a formula which you need to apply and find the answer. Now let's begin by finding what these two points are for part 1. P is 1 minus 1. So we know in this particular case x1 is 1 and y1 is minus 1 and q is 1 plus h so we know x2 is 1 plus h and y2 is f of 1 plus h where we are given the function f of x. Now to find this value we need to substitute 1 plus h in the function to calculate right so that is what we should find. So let's find y2 now. So y2 for us is 2 times instead of x I'll write 1 plus h whole square minus 3. So let's simplify this. So this is 1 plus h, right? So 2 times 1 plus 2h plus h square minus 3. Right, so that is, let's open the bracket. So 2 plus 6h plus 2h square minus 3. And that could be simplified as 6h plus 2 2 times 2 is 4, so not 6h, but 4h, okay. So 4h plus 2h squared and 2 minus 3 is minus 1, correct? So that is how it simplifies to. Now we know that y2 is um, 4h plus 2h squared minus 1. So we just combine these two. Now we can find what is the secant slope is, pq, so m pq is equals to y2 minus y1. y2 is this number for us which is 4h plus 2h square minus 1 that is y2 minus y1 which is minus 1 divided by x2 which is 1 plus h minus x1 which is 1. Now when you simplify this minus 1 plus 1 and this minus 1 they become 0. So you're left with 4h plus 2h squared divided by h since 1 minus 1 is 0. Now you can simplify taking h common. What you get here is 4 plus 2h. So that is the simplified form of pq, the slope of the secant. Now let's do the next one where p is 16 and 4 and q is 16 plus h x value, y value is 16 plus h square root. So we can write this slope of the secant pq as equals to y2 value which is square root of 16 plus h minus y1 which is 4 divided by x2 value which is 16 plus 4 minus x1 which is 16. Now that simplifies to, let me write that first minus 4 and the denominator we get is uh, okay this was 16 plus h I wrote wrong 16 plus h so it is h. To simplify this expression we need to rationalize. Rationalize means to multiply and divide by the conjugates. We'll multiply and divide this by 16 plus h plus 4 divided by 16 plus h plus 4 right. Now, once you rationalize it, the numerator will be 
when you multiply these two you get 16 plus h whole square square root whole square so that reduces to let me write down 16 plus h and minus 4 times plus 4 is minus 4 square which is 16 the center terms get cancelled right I hope you remember the formula which we are, we are using here that is a plus b times a minus b is equals to a square minus b square correct so so that is how we rationalize denominator is h times square root of 16 plus h plus 4 now numerator reduces to h denominator we have h times square root of 16 plus h plus 4 h and h cancel out so we have 1 over square root of 16 plus h plus 4 so that is the simplified version for the second part so the slope of the secant is 1 over square root of 16 plus h plus 4 thank you